I've always wanted to ask, I've always thought about, I've always wanted to ask, nothing really that big, but it's involving um, the, the use of social media, perhaps, and especially using it to build wrestling rivalries. And one thing I've always, I, I've really always been for was the Jimmy Jacobs Zima Scion from Evolve 7 in a BB King show, where you built that whole show up through social media using Twitter and YouTube for that, with, with Jimmy Jacobs getting drunk and everything, and to Shima Zion, you know, getting, being the person who put it online and breaking through like that with the Twitter and YouTube. And it was really innovative. I didn't think it got enough credit as it deserved, especially for that build-up for that contest. Now, do you feel maybe so much like throughout the social media, do you think maybe more and more feuds be built just through like simple promos and using Twitter to really enhance the rivalries? Do you think it's going in that direction? That, that's really an entire podcast in itself. <laughs> um, the the advantages of social media are and like that like the Twitter angle that you mentioned are just that you know you you do before you'd have like Saturday morning promos on TV to try to talk people into the seats and now you have this 24 7 thing that you can constantly get feuds going on and and build up rivalries um the negatives is a lot of times um a lot of a lot of the talent might just kind of start stuff with their friends on twitter and it kind of then distracts from the whole issue and everything that has to be extremely focused like like I, i think that's a big problem now is a lot of wrestlers really have to be completely committed to their Twitter and, and have a plan instead of just tweeting random things or whatever they feel like joking around that day. And um, I, I think that becomes a negative. And the other thing is that at least before, like with those Saturday morning promos that I mentioned where, or, you know, WTBS at 6.05, which was mainly promos, um, where everybody would, would do their talking and, and get people to buy tickets, is um, you were glued to the TV at 6.05 or for the Saturday morning shows and you watch those promos. And now with Twitter and Facebook, it's just a lot of noise coming at people there's just a, a lot of messages constantly coming at them and it's hard for anything to really break through and have that impact so if you are able to get people's attention and do something focused and disciplined and um and uh, not lose track of things i think it can be very effective but at the same time it, it is very difficult to do just because there's people just are, are bombarded with you know tweets every minute basically you know and and there's just and everyone's doing it all the time so it's just like a lot of noise and it's hard to break through and really make an impact and i, I think that's the big negative right now and and pretty much where maybe a lot of that stuff isn't as effective as as it should be. I think a lot of that stuff on paper, and when you think about it, looks like it's going to work a lot better than it actually does in reality. And, you know, like you said yourself, you know, we we did have something focused with with Jacobs and and Team Ion, and, um, you know, it didn't quite get over the way that even you just said it, you know, and maybe a lot of it is just because there is a lot of noise, and it's a lot of, you know, well, is this part of the angle? Is this, this, this guy joking around? Or now this guy's breaking character on here or you know what's going on and i I think all that stuff really minimizes the effect of everything 